Whew. So it looks like my man here is about <clears throat> it's about to kick us with another uh, real video. You know what I'm saying? According to this title, it sounds pretty serious. So let's go ahead and uh, hit this one up. But first, intro. I Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV and uh, hold up real quick. Just want to make sure we are all systems go and it looks like we are. So, okay. Got the full screen mode. Thank you. <clears throat> so yeah, y'all, y'all know I had to hit this one, this one up and I'm pretty sure this video is probably going to have something to do with, um, you know, the beef going on between church and uh, HDC. So without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and find out together by liking the hey hey. Go. You thought I was gonna say sorry about something? <laughs> this video is probably gonna make. <laughs> oh man, come on, man! If y'all been following church for a good minute, you know we ain't gonna apologize for shit, and he don't need to. Let's go. Some people unfollow me. If you do unfollow me, I don't want you here anyways, so don't bother writing a whole big ass novel about it. I know you want this like big beautiful exit where I pretend where I give a fuck, but I'm not an actor and I didn't hear no one. Hold on guys, let me check my resolution. Make sure that we are seeing my man here nice and clear like. And yeah, I think we're good. Okay. This like big beautiful <clears throat> exit where I pretend where I give a fuck. But I'm not an actor and I didn't hear no one say click action. So, eh. so yeah, I'm pretty much at this weird spot in my career. How do I explain this? How do I know how to explain this? If my career was a pregnant woman, like I feel like I have all these ugly babies, like hundreds of ugly babies trying to suck my titties. That's, <laughs> that's yeah. All the pregnant ladies just like throwing formula, like here's some formula. And they're like, no, nah, we want to fucking get it. Why am I telling you this? Because it's fucking fascinating and weird. It's weirdly fascinating. So what inspired me to make this video was yesterday, a kid asked me on Instagram where you do the questionnaire thing. He was like, how do you deal with being picked on all the time? I said, well, I don't get picked on in real life, so it don't matter. So then I sat there for a good five minutes, just thinking about what the kid asked me. And like, what was going through the kid's head? What was he expecting my answer to be? And then I was like, dude, I'm at a weird point in my career, bro. <laughs> I mean, and he's not wrong. I mean, look what's been going on recently with some of these new heads popping up and uh, just going in on the dude. You know what I mean? The freaking Gobble Brothers. You know what I'm saying? Both of which want to fight this dude. And it's, and it's freaking crazy. And... I find it funny how he, he was talking about people, you know, who are leaving like these novels, these paragraphs in the comment section down below. I've been, I've been getting slammed with people, too, that have been leaving paragraphs. I'm like, oh, I used to like church and all this and that. But then he did this, you know what I mean? Cut this track with, 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 with uh, Boosie and I don't like Boosie. You know what I mean? Uh, church needs to find better people to make music with. You know, I don't know why he had to choose Bootsy and all this and that. If you don't know why, then obviously you haven't been paying attention. And honestly, I really don't care. You know what I mean? The man can work with whoever he wants to work with. You don't like him because of insert reason here. I don't care. I don't care. Spare me the freaking novelizations of 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 you telling me why you no longer follow church, why you no longer like church. I don't care. As a matter of fact, if I see those comments, I'm going to go through, I'm going to delete them all. And to all my mods that I have on this channel, you guys are more than welcome. If you see comments like those where people are talking about how they no longer like church, they no longer follow them, you know what I mean? And just recently I had to delete a comment because someone accused me of being an up church nut writer or whatever the hell. <clears throat> you know what I mean? If you see comments like those, please do me a favor and delete those if I don't catch them. You know what I'm saying? If you guys don't catch them, no worries, all good. You know what I mean? I'm not afraid to handle that stuff myself. And uh, I'm gonna block I'm gonna start blocking people too, cause like I said, I I ain't got time for nonsense. I ain't got time for bullshit. I ain't got time for no fucking drama. You know what I mean, bro? You want you 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 want to accuse me of being a church nut writer? That's fine. Go ahead. I don't care. The guy has been nothing but kind, and and showed me nothing but love. So why am I gonna turn around and freaking, uh, you know, 
hate this guy or unfollow this guy because you don't like him? I don't care. If you don't like church, you got a problem with church, that's between you and him. That has nothing to do with me. I am my own person. And I'm entitled to do whatever I want and say whatever I want and follow and support whoever I want. You got a problem with that? You know where the damn door is. Don't bother leaving me little paragraphs and try to have this grandiose, expecting a, a, a grandioso, you know, exit or whatever. No, just fucking leave. I don't need that kind of energy here. Just fucking go. But anyway, getting back to what he's saying about, you know, his his career and everything being weird again he's not wrong man you know because again you got stupid people that want to keep stirring up shit with this guy and i don't understand why i don't get it you know what i mean the man does not deserve any of the bs that he's been getting as of late let's go like a weird spot for real <clears throat> because in my life to me i'm regular I drive a 79 Bonanza to the gas station. I hang out with the same friends every weekend. I text my mom every day, say, hey, you need me to do anything for you? And she'll say yes or no. I go to work, do Dude, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Do my job and I pay my workers on Friday. The extra time that I have is just like everyone else. It's either for <clears throat> me or for my old lady. And trust me, I know a lot of people follow me because I am just regular. You know, I mean, especially in a fucking world where everything's extra as fuck. And me being the person I am, I... Exactly. This is one of the reasons why I follow this dude. He's just he's just a regular guy, you know what I mean, who happens to share some of the same interests that that I have, you know what I mean? Like cars, for example. Dude likes cars, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> he likes video games. You know what I'm saying? And he I'm sure there's some other um other geek related stuff that he likes that I do like, you know what I mean? He's a Pokemon fan. I'm not I'm not going to hold hold the Pokemon fandom against him, you know what I'm saying? He's Entitled to be into whatever he likes to be into. You know what I'm saying? He's his own person, man. Let's go. <laughs> I'm saying this stuff because I'm documenting it. I want to go back and look at this one day. Because, I mean, in a sense, it's a social experiment that I'm actually going through. I mean, essentially, this YouTube channel is the life of somebody from a <clears throat> nowhere town who dropped out of high school, was a painter, and ended up being a really fucking big independent artist. Not to mention, come on. This is one of the things I respect about this dude. You know what I mean? He, he, he's been doing this for so long, and the man has not forgotten his humble beginnings. You know what I mean? Where, where he started. He has not forgotten about his time, when, as he mentioned, when he dropped out of high school and became a painter. You know what I mean? He thought that that was, that was going to be his life, you know, just working a regular job. And, you know, but hey, the man was fortunate enough, though, to kind of, you know, fall into this. You know what I mean? Whether it's him making music or creating awesome video content on, on this channel. Let's go. Come on, bro. Look at the times we're living in. Look what the television's doing to society. Mm -hmm. Look what I look like. Look what I sound like. Mm -hmm. Look where I came from. Yep. I became a fucking hip-hop artist. Facts. What are the fucking chances? I mean, and that's something you can't go to college for, so... True. Yeah, I'm gonna document this shit, because it's bizarre and interesting. Now, mm -hmm. a lot of y'all don't need to watch this video. But a lot of you do need to watch this video because there are some people that follow this page that are a tad bit too entitled. And, and I know exactly what, he, what he's getting at. You do need a reality check. So like last week, somebody wrote me this huge comment on how they have to unfollow me now. They're very sorry they have to, but they have to for these set of reasons. What they fail to understand is there is no part of me that gives a shit if they stay here or not. I'm on this camera for people who are interested in what I'm doing. That's mm -hmm. why it's called YouTube. But lately with mm -hmm. me, people feel so entitled that it's fucking cringe, dude. It's like people are like, hey, here's a list of stuff that I don't like that you're doing. Here's the things, the stuff to say. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't aware that I was taking orders. Go fuck yourself. And I know... And I agree to that. Amen to that. You know what I'm saying? Again, I... This goes to everybody. Look, you got a problem with church? I don't care. I don't want to hear it. Don't bring those comments to my channel. They will be gone. As a matter of fact, for those of you who plan on leaving those kind of comments in my comment section, let me save you the finger strength. You know what I'm saying? Don't bother because they're going to be deleted. They're going to be gone. Again, mods, I'm putting y'all on notice. You guys see those comments? Feel free to wipe them because I ain't got time for that kind of mess. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. And again, that's only for... 
people who are being negative, talking about how they don't like church no more, you know what I mean, or they used to like church, you know what I mean, but because of insert reason here, they're, they're not going to support them anymore, they're not going to follow them anymore, I don't care about that, mods, again, you have my permission to delete those negative comments. A lot of Creek Squad feels the same way. I see the comments. You know why? Because any normal fucking level-headed person knows that this ain't normal. And to mm -hmm. be real, the level I'm at right now is a level where a lot of motherfuckers dip out and never come back. Especially when you've been through some of the crazy, bizarre, almost non-believable shit that I've been through. To mm -hmm. a lot of people, it wouldn't be worth it. They'd be like, fuck this. Mm -hmm. But I'm on a mission for people like me. Uh -huh. who come from places like where I come from. So it makes me happy to go through this shit and come through the other side because it gives people hope for whatever the fuck they're going through. If they can watch me go through it, then they know they can go through it. Not only that... I'll exactly. This guy, whether he knows it or not, he inspires me. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh, as a matter of fact, I'm working on a new song. You know what I mean? And I'm trying to do my best to step up my, my lyrical game. And yeah, the song is almost done. I just got one more verse to come up with, which I'm pretty pretty sure I have a good idea on how to start it out. And usually that's all I need. I need a good starting point and then the rest will just fall into place. So yeah. So this will probably be the only upload for today. And uh, I want to give a shout out to the IG user. I believe her name was Katrina. Um, I did get your two requests. I do have them on standby. I'm probably going to hit those up later on tonight. And then uh, I'll either have them both posted either by tomorrow, which will be Sunday, if not Monday at the latest, or I'll probably do one tomorrow and then the other one on Monday. I don't know. We'll see how things work out because I really want to get this song done. But anyway, let's go ahead and get back into this. All the situations I've been through on the internet <clears throat> for everyone to see. So if anyone ever questions it, go back and look. It's there. I've had mm -hmm. chicks date me that are musicians. Yep. They got me to write them hit songs yep. about having sex. Mm -hmm. And then got on the camera and was like, damn, you tried to have sex with me. How the fuck you think we wrote the song, dummy? I've jumped. And we all know who he's talking about there. Started numerous careers out of money out of my pocket for somebody else. Never asked for no money back. Mm -hmm. And then they turn around and they're like, fuck him. And then when I'm yep. like, dude, why'd you do that? Then they get back on the internet and they're like, I'm sorry. Or what's her face that made it to where I had to cancel a fuck ton of shows? All because I refused to have sex with her, bruh. Could you imagine being in court with someone you barely know mm -mm. that you rejected? And they're in court looking at the judge going, He has dead bodies in his yard. Him and his friends fucking kill people. He has an underground torture chamber at Ghost Ranch. And starts... Dude, you can't make that shit up, man. That's some crazy outlandish shit right there, bruh. Man, I just... I, what the fuck is up with people, man? Why, why? Again, why do people gotta gotta do this man like this? You know what I mean? After, And, and all he's done is just show them love. You know what I mean? And he's done his best to help them out. I just, I just don't get people. Cry. Bro, put yourself in those shoes. You're in a courtroom with a bunch of cops, a judge, in the middle of this fucking city, and this fucking crazy person is telling everyone in the courtroom, you've murdered multiple fucking people. Telling mm. the judge that you've built a underground facility where you torture people. And it's underground so no one can hear it. Or when people need vehicles, and I'll give them brand new vehicles, and then they ride around in the vehicle that I bought them talking shit about me. Yep. Full-grown men drawing pictures of my face, trying to send it to me. And when I don't see that they're trying to send me something, they get mad and go on this tangent for a week where they're like, fuck him, or even up to recently with the fuck. And we all know the uh, bird brain he's talking about there. Fucking the, um... Oh, God damn it. The fucking heavy-duty guy. Dude who has 484,000 subscribers and he's online lying saying he gave me $4,000. You didn't give me $4,000. You know you didn't. Why the fuck would you say that? And, it and we all know that's true because like I said, where's the receipts? Where's the proof? Yeah, and 
And by the way, I, as an update, I ain't sub from that dude. You know what I mean? I am not rocking with that dude no more. Fuck that, man. Let's go. If you did, I think me and everybody else watching this video wants to see proof of you giving me that. Mm -hmm. You have. Thank you. Yes. I'm, I'm one of those people. I've asked for proof. How did this transaction take place? You know what I mean? Where, where's the uh, the uh, receipts? You know what I mean? That 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 proves that this transaction actually took place. You know what I mean? And whether it's a lie or not, I mean, out of the way, the dude looks stupid. You know what I'm saying? Saying that oh, that he allowed himself to to get suckered out of five, four K. Excuse me. Whether it's true or not, either way, you, you look like an idiot when you say shit like that. That does not do you any favors. To have a receipt of giving me four thousand mm -hmm. dollars, whether it's cash app, check, fucking written agreement, yep. literally anything. And look, I know it's gonna hurt some of your fans' pride or whatever, but he don't have that, y'all, because mm -hmm. that did not happen. This badass, heavy duty cowboy you guys think is a fucking cowboy has been harassing my producer Stoner for six months. Stoner is a very chill, very respectful, very humble producer that is a family man that has three kids. You're blowing his fucking phone up over and over from different numbers. Stoner's never done. Wow, talk about, now oh, he can get the original gobble neck, you know what I mean, to run for his money as far as like stalker status. That is serious stalker status. If you're blowing up somebody's phone from different phone numbers like dude get a life bad business a day in his life ask any of the artists that work with him like jelly Lil white uh fucking demon jones yo i love me some little white man let's go tech nine adam calhoun dizzy right bro tech nine dang that's an a-list right there let me wind that back different numbers stoner's never done bad business a day in his life ask any of the artists that work with him like jelly jelly roll little white little white uh fucking demon jones demon jones tech nine tech nine yo yo Whew. that's a list of who's who that's quite an impressive list man Adam Calhoun, Dizzy Adam Calhoun, Wright. Dizzy I mean, Wright. The fucking list goes on. Stoner don't even like the internet shit, dude. He usually stays off of it. But it's sad as fuck that this man had to stop what he's doing to make a reply to you. So before I show you this cold hard truth that you're about to see, just remember he come out to the camera and flat out told y'all that I have 4,000 of his dollars, didn't he? He did. Here we go. I wanted to uh, bring some... Now, this right here, um, all you HDC nut writers, this is what we like to call a receipt. This is proof. Some information coming from Stone Baby Sounds because he had made a response revolving around the heavy duty country situation and had this to say. This dude is so desperate for attention, never signed with him. We signed a basic agreement for me to produce five songs. He paid half of the agreement and received four out of five songs and has harassed me nonstop the last six months. All because Ryan didn't want to write his songs for him. Let's leave this dude in the past. Talk about overly entitled. Stoner, you just heard from Stoner. Saying that this dude received four out of five songs, right? They, they, he signed, or they both signed, excuse me, a basic agreement for Stoner to produce five songs. And he, he received four. And then the dude kept bugging him last six months. And he wanted Ryan to write his songs for him? I'm supposed to believe that this is a guy who is not afraid to get his hands dirty, not afraid to put in work. But he wanted someone else to write his songs for him. Yeah. Okay. Sound familiar? Hey 
Another dirty vampire baby trying to suck some titties that don't belong to him. Uh -huh. But here's my thing. You looked at 484,000 people that follow you all the time for the truth. And you lied directly to their face about something easily debunkable. Facts. If you'll lie about something small, what the fuck else will you lie about? I mean, damn. And he is not wrong there. You know what I'm saying? People who, who aren't afraid to spew little white lies. Trust me. They're, they're, those are the same people who are going to lie about bigger things. Dude, somebody who claims to be pro-American mm -hmm. and covers news that involves our whole country and you over here lying about giving somebody $4,000. I don't respect you anymore. Hell, I should have known. He's pretty much lost all of my respect. That's for damn sure. Something was up when you were at my house and you came there without a vehicle. I was like, well, you can borrow my Mustang. And you're like, well, I can't drive a six speed. So I was like, okay, well, here's my automatic truck. What the fuck? <laughs> right. He wants to call out Ryan for being a poser, right? For being a fake country guy. Dude can't drive a six speed. Dude don't even have a southern accent. You know what I mean? Someone pointed out someone pointed that out in one of my comments, and I was thinking about that. I was like, you know what? You're right. This dude who's trying to claim to be more country than church, yeah, I do find it funny how he doesn't sound like a southern guy. He speaks very proper, you know what I mean? He's got, you know, just just normal English, like no real like accent. You know what I mean? That screams, oh yeah, I'm from the south or whatever. Okay. But that's the thing. I see all this shit, and then I'm like, people have the audacity to be like, man, you're changing. No shit. You just act like you've gotten a lot. Like, damn right, church is changing. He's evolving. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. <laughs> but that's the thing. I see all this shit, and then I'm like, people have the audacity to be like, man, you're changing. No shit. You just act like you've gotten a lot meaner. <laughs> you don't say. Well, you... Yeah, and I wonder why that is. Hmm. You see fuck face in the comments who's delusional as shit. Normal people out here really don't like when strangers try to suck their titties dry. Not everybody lives in fucking lollipop land. And facts, facts, and more facts. Dude, some of the comments involving this dude are bizarre. Seeing people being like, dude, you guys are fucking like best friends. No, the fuck we wasn't. The fuck do you think a best friend is? You think everybody you stand beside for two seconds is going to be your best friend? You're going to get robbed a lot. Man, this one comment he had in there on his page made me go roll a fucking blunt. This one motherfucker said, man, I was really hoping to see that collab between you two. Would have been super dope. Oh, my God. Whew, you want to talk delusional as fuck. I mean, he, th this dude, you know what I mean, who was stooping up to make it rain with his 4K. I mean, he said himself that his music was shit. Are your fucking ears broke? When the fuck makes you think I want to do a collab with something that sounds like this? What the hell is wrong with you? Hiding in places cruel. Broken banks, jacked rates, keep them kids from school. Ask the bartender for a smile and a line. Never thought a beer without a mask could be a crime. God damn. Fear from the nation. Total less. I feel sorry for the beat. Collation, yeah, I'm still smiling with the lip of Copenhagen. COVID don't spread down south in the country. Roping on my horse, black hat, looking punchy. Yeah, but we don't care. Yeah, I'm totally gonna stop everything I'm fucking doing for this guy. Yeah, so when you ask me, am I... Right? Right? You want church to stop whatever he's doing with his life? Put all his life on hold? To help someone who put out that? Mm -mm. For this guy, yeah, so when you ask me, am I changing? The answer is yes. If you're gonna sit here and tell me I'm unfollowing you because you don't, let's go, Brandon, then I want you to fucking leave. You're gonna make me dumber staying here. What do you expect me to fucking say? When I wake up in the morning and I got some fucking fake cowboy in the woods by the interstate being like, I need to know some answers about some other guy. Answer these questions, even though you're not the guy. It appears Boosie said fuck the police. Did you know about this? 
I don't fucking care, dude. I care about the motherfuckers in my house, the motherfuckers in my community, and the people I meet in real life. As he should. What other people do with their lives is their business. It's none of his business. Just like it's none of my business. None of your business. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. People are entitled to a lot of things. But what you're not entitled to is to have control over other people. Meaning, just because you tell this man or ask him to say, let's go Randon. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean he has to do it. If he doesn't want to say, let's go Brandon, he doesn't have to do it. It doesn't make him whatever you think he is just because he refuses to say something that you want him to say. Fuck. I like living in real life. It's pretty fucking nice. If you want to stay on the internet and let's go Brandon everyone to fucking death and make statements with your capital letters on your signs while you argue because someone has capital letters on their signs, then go for it, dude. We're not the same person, which is why I don't hang out with you. Mm -hmm. I don't fucking like people like you. So please, if you're one of these people, there's the fucking door. I live Facts. out here with real people, not in fucking La La Land. Yeah. Good God. You know, you should probably change your fucking name since you can't drive a six-speed. How the fuck are you gonna call yourself Heavy Duty? When you can't even fucking drive a six speed. May as well change it to Limp D Country. I'm just saying. <sighs> well, there you go. Oh, by the way, to everybody who was following me that was like, man, church, can't believe this. Totally unfollowing now. Yo ass ain't staying neither. Get the fuck out of here. I hate cancel culture. And before you same fuckheads try to leave those comments here on my channel, let me tell you right now, again, as I mentioned earlier, don't bother. Your comments will be removed and you will be blocked. I ain't tolerating your shit. And so, be, and because you don't want me, or because you want me to stop following him, stop supporting him because you don't like him, yeah, that, that, that is not happening. Like I said, this man has shown me nothing but kindness, nothing but love. And I am not going to be one of those people who is going to start shit with him just because you tell me to. I don't answer to people like you. No, you don't, you fucking diva. Did I forget <laughs> anything? Oh, yeah. I seen the video from 2014 where you're like, Look, everyone, I'm sure it's any fucking N-word. Well, here's you an updated video, you clickbaiting bitch-ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> now go learn how to drive a stick shift. Heavy duty. <laughs> Yo, facts. <laughs> yeah, shit and yo and show real clips too not not some fucking chopped up poorly pasted together clips that you know supposedly fit well enough to uh help push your narrative freaking freaking leftist sh sh uh how should i say this eh fuck it you left this sheep in wolf's clothing Bruh. <clears throat> Anyways, y'all. Yeah, man. Like I said, I, I don't, I don't blame dude for feeling this way. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm getting some of the same shit he's getting. You know what I mean? From these, from these fuckheads. You know what I mean? That are leaving these, these dumbass comments. Like, well, I used to like church and all this and that, but then he did this and did that. Like, dude, I don't care. I don't care if you don't like church anymore. That is, that is not my problem. <laughs> that, that is not my business. You know what I'm saying? Again, that's between you and him. I see any more of those stupid comments saying, "Oh, I used to like church. Oh, you're you're a church nut writer because you don't you don't disagree with him. You agree with him more than you disagree." If you if you truly believe that, well then you haven't been following this channel for very long. Jesus Christ. I shouldn't have to explain that either. You know what I mean? I, I know I just wasted my breath there, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Anyways, y'all. I am with this a video 100%. Let me go ahead and, and hook my man up with a like. You know what I'm saying? And if you guys are with it too, you guys haven't watched it yet, go hit it up. Link will be in the description, as always. So you guys can watch and listen to this on your own free time, uninterrupted as you would like. Even if you watch it already, you feel like watching again, again, the link will be available. So you guys are more than welcome to hit it up whenever and however many times you like. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh. <clears throat> So yeah, again, mods, again, if you see any negative comments, please, please remove them.
you know. But anyway, guys, don't forget, um, if you're with this reaction, you know what to do with that thumbs up down below. You know what to do with that comment section down below. You know what I'm saying? Let's have a nice civil discussion. I will be keeping my eyes, you know, open on the on the chat or in the comment section as I always do. And uh, yeah, guys, don't forget underneath the uh, original video link, I got the link for the second channel. If you're into wrestling, gaming, other cool geek shit, that is the link for you to go click on. You know what I'm saying? Please help support the second channel. That would be greatly appreciated. I did upload uh, my reaction to the WWE 2K22 uh, um, Undertaker. Uh, immortal pack that that's coming out that features the three different versions of the Undertaker, and uh, so yeah, you guys are more than welcome to go hit that up anytime you like. And uh, don't forget underneath uh, the second channel link, we got you know reaction request instructions. Again, uh, Katrina, uh, actually, know what? And so yeah, uh, Katrina, like I said uh, earlier on top of or at, near the top of the video, if not halfway through the video, um, I do have both your reaction requests on standby. Like I said, if I have time later on, uh, later in the day, or at least by tonight, uh, I definitely will have them recorded, and I'll probably have one, either one or both posted by tomorrow. Um, if not, I'll at least have one posted up by tomorrow, and then the other one on, on Monday at the latest. Because, yeah, like I said, I'm working on a new song and everything, so yeah. And I'm very excited about it. I think this is one of my one of my best songs. You know, what I mean that I'm working on in quite some time. Uh, guys, don't forget uh, two uh, merch store links, um, both of which will have their own discount slash coupon codes. And uh, don't forget, if you can't support the channel financially, hey, no worries, all good, no hard feels. I understand we're going through some crazy times, so I get it. You are still helping out in the long run by simply making sure you're subscribed to this channel. If you're feeling what I'm doing over here, you know what I'm saying. If you're digging the vibes. You know what I mean? Please hit that subscribe button. That would mean the world. And uh, also, don't forget to have your bell notifications set to all. So you never miss an upload. Doesn't cost a single red cent. But still a big help nonetheless. You feel me? And that also goes for all the folks that I rock with in the folks that I rock with section. Make sure you guys are showing the fan bam some love. We greatly appreciate that as well. I think I nailed everything. So, with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. So, y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace.